Hello and welcome to the Sting Weekly Charts show with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You're very, very welcome. It's the 2nd of November 2019. On this week's chart at number 20, it's Light Industrial 4 by Spence. Now, the number 4 indicates there might be more to come from Spence this week. Won't have to wait long to find out. At number 19, another creator with multiple items in this week's chart. It's Jens with the commercial building Wallstrasse. A good European solid building. Love it. At number 18, Medium Industrial 2 by Spence. Yes, a full set of light and medium industry items. There's even some just outside of the chart as well. At number 17, we've got Light Industrial Garage 1 by Spence. Yes, yeah, so have a little look on to their workshop page. You'll find more that I won't be able to show you today. And number 16, Light Industrial 7 by Spence. Gotta love all of this. Look at the roof texturing. It looks like it's completely run down, dilapidated, need of some work. Very nice. Number 15, Light Industrial 8 by Spence. I'm going to use a whole bunch of these, I think, in Duvaux when I get some time to go back to my city build. Hopefully be some time in the next week or so, maybe. Number 14, it's Quad Looking Glass by Quad Writers, a true giant in the uh, City Skylines community is Quad Writers and a great building on show here. At number 13 is Casmarinium uh, Coburg by Titan. Casmarinium. Mm, am I close? Casmarinium? I don't know. You tell me. Number 12, Light Industrial 1 by Spence. This must have been the very first of the set. It looks great. I'm loving that blue as well. Very nice. And number 11 into the top 11 is Light Industrial Garage 3 by Spence. It's the same blue. It's the baby blue. They go together. I think they would work together as a pair. Very nice. And number 10 into that top 10 now. 4x4 Commercial Building uh, Kerfston by Jens. Yes, I'm probably killing all of the German language today. Is it German or is it Dutch? I don't give up. Uh, 3x4 Residential Building Yorkstrasse by Jens at number 9. Jens pushing hard to be creator of the week. Will they have enough to keep Spence from the top? Here's another one. It's Commercial Building Franz by Jens. Another European style commercial building. Solid, lovely work. Corner building as well. Number seven is KFC by Raccoon. Uh, yeah, one of these that you can push into, well, Jens' buildings for starters, uh, or just stand alone if you like that as well. Number six, the 1900s American Shop by Smiley's. Smiley's not letting us down, bringing us another solid, what, very fashionable building. Love that. And number five, the Exat Toll Plaza straight four lane, one way, functional LHT by Arms Plans. It's a toll booth, okay? That's what it is, toll booth. Number four, the Paradox Tree by Mr. Maison. Good old Mr. Maison and uh, Paradox Tree. I wonder where he got that name from. Doesn't look much like a paradox to me. Oh, wait, I see. And number three is the Medium Industry One by Spence. Yes, and with 742 items in this week's top 20, Spence is the creator of the week. Well done, Spence. And at number two, 189 Atlantic Ave, the Brooklyn Residential Pack by Fine Build. Fine Build sneaking in at number two. But who could possibly be number one this week? Well, it's TPB with an update to the Theme Mixer mod in Theme Mixer 2. This looks like a proper game changer for those that like to have all of the most beautiful things in their city. Well done, TPB. You're at number one this week. Well done to you. Well, thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing to, and to all of the creators in the Creators Hall of Fame and those outside of it as well. I've been Bon Bon B. Thank you very much. You've been very, very welcome and I'll see you again very, very soon.